Hello everyone, welcome to this video, and in this video I'm going to uh, present to you something, yes, something interesting, uh, maybe not, but um, finally my computer has reached the point where it can actually compute some stuff, and of course the first program that I've done was the Fibonacci sequence, a bit of a simplified version, so the first instruction that we do is load zero into the accumulator, uh, we store it into address um, zero, so this is where our variable um, a will be. Uh, then we load uh, 1 into the accumulator and store this number in the accumulator into address 1, aka the address where our uh, variable b will be stored. Uh, then uh, this is the beginning of the loop. So we load a uh, number from address 0 and we add it with the number from address 1. So the next instruction is add. Uh, then we do jump if uh, our carry flag is on, and if the carry flag is on, then we'll halt. Uh, this is the last instruction, and if it's not, then we obviously don't halt, and we just continue on forward. So the next instruction is store. We store the number, the result of the addition, into the variable a. Then we subtract variable b from it, and we store it into the variable b. Then we uh, loop back around. So this is the Fibonacci sequence that we have here. Uh, it's a, a bit of a simplified version where we don't actually have to uh, transfer stuff from one place to the other. And uh, yeah, so yes, let's just um, shut up and let's actually run the computer and see how it works. So I'm just gonna run and uh, yeah, it starts to work. So here's one. We look at the first number right here. One, two, three, five, eight, uh, yes, 13, if I recall correctly, 21, and so on. I'm not actually gonna bother. 34, I think, is the next one. I'm not gonna actually bother with um, remembering the sequence, but yeah, uh, it's the correct sequence, I'm assuming. And here it should hold, and yes, it did. So the computer is now uh, have stopped working. As you can see, it's a quite a quick computer. Uh, at least it's definitely much faster than my uh, MQ, just MQ, uh, the first version of um, Quantum's MQR1. So this is a simple timer that I have. Uh, unfortunately, it's not as smartly designed as I would like it to be, but it does calculate the time, the time in ticks accurately. So it outputs the time in ticks. I can show it to you. So just go ahead, and here we go, 14 ticks between those two um, spot gun shots. So we can do that, and we can just check uh, how much time it took between the launch of the program and uh, the finish. So let's launch our computer and just wait till it halts. So yes, right now it's just Here's the instructions being completed. So as you can see, they're being completed quite quickly and you can't really see the additions and subtractions. I mean, you can see a little bit of a stumble, but generally the additions and subtractions and everything are um, quite fast, actually. Like they're about the same speed. Like this is addition, this is subtraction. And they're about as fast as uh, any other operation, for example, as no op operation, which is good. That's how it's supposed to be. Right, and here should we halt, and here we go, the end time is 15, um, I have um, done some funny thing right here, I have um, simplified, let's say, uh, using this tool right here, um, the um, our input into the um, memory, into address of our cache, so theoretically this should speed up the um, cache, by one tick, or, yeah, one tick, so we should be theoretically be able to do that, and that, so we could speed up by one tick, and I'm not sure how much of a difference that will make, but let's, uh, I guess let's see, and I'm hoping for something good, come on, please tell me that it will be, holy shit, <laughs> I mean, okay, f so that is how much of a difference. 1502 minus 14 
75. That is whole 27 ticks saved. We have just saved 27 ticks um, by simplifying our cache by doing this. And it still and it still has the correct result, which is uh, making sense because we didn't actually uh, do much here. So yes, uh, if you want more information about this computer, you can find it on my Discord server. I'll be making sure to leave a link uh, on it in the description. And for now, uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.